today I'll be showing you how to make a cube on After Effects without any plugins. So without any jibba jabba, let's get on with it. First, do the basics, make a new composition with the size being 1080 each. Then import a picture. I'll be using a picture of Billie Eilish for this. Resize it to the composition and pre-compose it. Make sure that these two are clicked. Duplicate the clips five times because a cube has six sides and one is already there so you gotta duplicate it five times to know what I mean. Okay, select all of these clips. Make sure that the motion blur is on and make sure that the 3D is on. There are two ways to make a cube. One is with the snapping and the other is with the anchor point. We're gonna go with the anchor point just because it's easier. I'm gonna describe what's happening to you. So go to active camera and change it to custom view. Select the first three clips, press A on your keyboard and change the third value to 540. Select the last three clips, press A on your keyboard and change the third value to minus 540. Now this makes up the front and the back face of your cube. Skip the first clip, go to the second one, press R on your keyboard, change the X rotation to 90. Go to the third clip, press R, change the Y rotation to 90. Again, skip the first one, Go to the second one, X rotation 90, and then go to the last one, R, Y rotation 90. Your cube is ready. If you want to add a rotation to the cube as a whole, if you pre-compose it and you put on the 3D mode, you rotate it, nothing's gonna happen. That's because when you pre-compose a clip, it's a whole new composition without the values that you put in. For it to work, you've got to add a new null. Select all the clips, drag the spiral thingy to the null, and then you can do whatever you want. See, the scale, rotation, any side, and you're done.